So welcome back. This is going to be our last video in the playlist uh, area and volume. We're going to look at an example question for trapezoidal rule. Okay, so this specific example question is 2013 question 6. Uh, it's become quite a popular exam question in recent years, so that's where we're definitely going to look at an example question of it. So anyway, um, question 6. The diagram shows the graph of the function y is equal to sine x. So that's the start of y is equal to sine x. So if you remember, that's kind of a wave function. Uh, in the domain 0 uh, to x to pi. So that just means that between 0 and pi, uh, we have the sine curve, okay? And x is a real number, blah, blah, blah. Complete the table below, correct to three decimal places. So if x is equal to 0, pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2, and so on, what is y equal to? So what you do is you look at this here, y is equal to sine of x, and we're just going to say if x is equal to 0, what is y equal to? If x is equal to pi over 6, what is y equal to? We're gonna do that all in our calculator, just make sure your calculator is in radians, okay? So this will give us zero. Put this into your calculator, you're gonna find that it's equal to 0 0.50, or you can put an extra zero if you want. So we're gonna correct to three decimal places. This here will be 0 0.866, 0 0.866. That's if you wanna put it into um, decimal places, or you can have the square root of three over two. But for this question here, they want it in decimal places. Um, and again, 0 0.500 and 0. So those are our answers there for all of these. Again, that's just all just your calculator, okay? So now, part B, use the trapezoidal rule to find the approximation, the approximate area of the region enclosed between the curve and the x-axis in the given domain. So they want us to find this area here, so between the curve and the x-axis, okay? So let's get rid of those. So the formula is A is approximately equal to H over 2, multiply by y1 plus y to the power of n plus 2 multiplied by y2 plus dot 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 y to the n minus 1 close the circular bracket and close the square bracket okay so again that's in your tables book no need to learn that off so we need to know what each one stands for though so this h here you remember what it stands for it should be the distance between each of these lines here and in this case the distance is let me say h is equal to pi over 6. Every time they add pi over 6, it goes up pi over 6, all the way up to pi, okay? y1 is equal to 0, y2 er, is equal to 0 0.5. So I'm actually going to write those in here. This is going to be y1, y2. I'm going to pick a color that you can see a little bit better. I'm going to pick purple. This is going to be y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, and y7. Okay, so these are the individual heights. Uh, and now we have all we need to sub it into our formulas. We're gonna find our approximate area. So a is gonna be approximately equal to pi over six, all divided by two. Let's write that two again, all divided by two, multiplied by y1, which is zero, and y pair, and y7, the last one, which is also zero, plus it's gonna be two multiplied by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.866 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.866 plus 1. And again, that's not an order, so sorry about that. I kind of ran out of space. Pop that all into your calculator, and you're going to get that A is approximately equal to 1.95407. Okay, and that is our answer for question B. So now question C, I'm not gonna do it here, I'm just gonna give the answer. So use integration to find the actual area. So integration will find the actual area, whereas it's an approximate area, and A is equal to two if you do that. So you can watch our videos on calculus if you wanna learn how to do that. And now D, find the percentage error. So hopefully you guys know how to get the percentage error. So what you do is, you have to find the error first. So if the true value is two, and then the value we got is 1.95, that's for the approximate, you say two, minus 1.95047 and that'll give you your error so that's how much you were off by with your estimate uh, and in this case the error is going to be 0 0.04593 yeah so that is our error and to find the percentage error so i'm going to write that i should go a different color I'll go red and I'll go white for fun we'll say percentage error is equal to the error over, I'm gonna say, the true value. 
where that's just the answer, okay? So in this case, 0 0.04593, which is our error. Actually, that's all multiplied by 100, my mistake. Uh, all divided by the answer, or the true value, which is 2, okay? And then multiply that by 100, and we're going to find our percentage error. So our percentage error is going to be 2.3%. 2.3%, and that's our final answer. Okay, so the other kind of questions you're going to get asked on the trapezoidal rule, uh, as long as you can identify what the H is, what the Y's are, and everything else, the trapezoidal rule is fine because it's just a formula you need to use. Um, and then they could ask you something extra like, like this question here. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed area and volume. If you did, uh, like and subscribe and share it with your friends, please. Also, we have loads of other um, playlists and stuff that are going to pop up at the end of this video. So you guys should click on those and check out our other videos. Also, you should check out the website. There's loads of cool free features like all the exam questions organized by topic. Or also you can pay for our A-grade study notes written by um, students who got A1s and 625 points. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos and we'll see you in more videos.